in my last video we have learned how you can create databricks using azure cloud in this video we are going to explore databricks repos so this is this is databricks ui you will get workspace here in the workspace previously the repos was here now it is marked as, as a legacy and it is showing that repo has been moved under workspace so if you click the workspace you can find the repos here so in the what is repo is what is the benefit of repos is so databricks repo is a feature that allow you to integrate your databricks workspace with git repo not only the git repo you can use uh, many other uh, version control tool as well like like git there is azure devops git commit there are many other version control i will show you so you can integrate your databricks workspace with your git repository that will make it easy to, to collaborate your code, track, change, and maintain version control. It provides a seamless environment for working with your code in Databricks notebook or file while connecting them directly to Git based version control like GitHub, Git, GitLab, or Bitbucket, or AWS DevOps as well is there. So, how, what is the feature and all? We will will see see here. So first of all, we will we will uh, configure our uh, Git with the the workspace. So what I mean to say is, let's suppose that there are five people are working a team. So each people will work there in their separate uh, branch and merge to the code in the main branch. You have to keep pulling the main uh, code, and the main code will uh, run main code will be your production code and that will run run as in a production that will be your final code it means so for the version control for version control it will be very helpful so you can keep version control keep all the code in your git and you can run it here so let me configure it so database repo provides source control for your data project by integrating with github provider you can find the repo under the database workspace First of all, we have to configure Git integration in our workspace. So we can go to, we can click here and uh, go to setting. In the linked account, we'll find the Git integration. In the Git provider, we'll select Git, GitHub. So you can see in the Git provider, we have many options like Git, GitHub, Bitbucket, Bitbucket Server, Azure DevOps Services, GitLab, many things AWS code commit so we'll select here github and then we'll link our account you can set up using link git account or you can use personal access token in the personal access token you have to use you have to give two things your git username and you have to give git token so I have my github account here I will log into my github account after logging to the github account i will open i will take my username so you can see my username is delta frog technology i will take that one and for access token i have to go to the setting developer setting in the developer setting we have personal access token we will see classic generate new token and we will generate new generate new token classic we'll note we'll keep note as databricks databricks repo or to expire in 30 days we'll select scope all the scope and we'll come down and generate so in databricks repo token okay and then generate token okay so this is this is my token you have to save it somewhere because uh, once you close you will not get it again Let's come here and we will put it token here and what is my username my username is mouse over here and then you can see the delta pro technology ok so delta pro talking technology then save
so now you can see like uh, my git integration is configured here so now we have integrated databricks with our github account each databricks repo map to a git repository so in your, in order to set up a repo let's first create a repository in github we have to go to our github and in the github we have to create repo we'll go to home in the home we'll create one repository let's create new repo i will name it this repo as databricks databricks demo databricks repo demo i will keep it private i will add readme file and then create repository so now you can see like this repo has been created we'll go to the code here we'll copy url to clipboard and switch back to our databricks workspace so our databricks workspace is here now we'll go to the repo you can go to the workspace and then workspace then repo and create git folder and definitely you create here so let's create here or you can just click create from here git folder or you can create repo from here as well click here add repo okay or close it click here okay after clicking that you can add a repo from here as well so the two options are given so i have clicked both places so git url that you have copied will paste here okay git provider okay we have to copy git url github url http this one we will copy and we'll go we'll come here and just give this name you can see automatically github and uh, our git folder name that is the repository name is populated here now create git folder you can see whatever the readme file was there in the main it is it is also populating here so we are having main branch here in the main branch we are only having readme file see you can see we are only having readme file here now you can see we are having one uh, main branch so let's create branch we'll create one branch called dev create dev and in this dev branch i will create one notebook close this one so we are having main branch and dev branch here okay you can switch between main and main and dev branch so right now we are in dev branch so right now we don't have any folder or any file so we'll create one folder here create one folder I will name it project demo. Okay, in the project demo, we'll keep uh, we'll keep one notebook, all the notebook here. So notebook, we'll keep notebook name as first. If I asked first demo notebook. Okay, and uh, just print here we'll, we'll have one code print hello that's all it will be automatically saved go to the workspace now in the workspace you will find in your there are folder in the folder your notebook is there if you want you can open the new tab Click it tab and go to workspace 
and uh, in the workspace there will be repo in the repo this is my github account this is my username and this is my github branch name here you have we will have project demo folder and readme folder now if you come here you can see i have created the dev branch from my workspace from here but you can see it here as well and in the dev branch we create the folder now go to here click on dev branch if you click on dev branch you can see the changes here see what changes we have done we have added this file and uh, so this is change so right now we have only this file redo file what the folder uh, demo demo uh, project demo folder and first demo dot py file this this file i have not added okay so i have not added in my dev branch so I will commit. We put the commit message here. Okay, adding folder and notebook. You can keep description. This optional and commit and push. So once you do the commit and push, it will be pushed successfully to to our GitHub. Now if you refresh it. We will find our folder called uh, project demo and first project first demo nb okay so you can see this one so but in the main it will it won't be there now if you if you see here in the main it won't be there see this uh, this uh, in the main we are having only readme file so now what we can do you can create the pull request click on compare pull request and you can keep any message description here and create pull request once you create the pull request you have to it will merge our dev branch dev branch to main branch so pull request is created you can add rule here so that uh, if you want to before merge in in real time in uh, your project you cannot merge without approval so you have to ask for approval from your uh, manager and once you have uh, once they have approved then you can click on merge so confirm merge so it is mer it, it is merged on main branch so now if you if you go to the main go to your main branch you will see demo project and inside demo project you will see uh, first demo as well so but this is there in my github it won't come in my uh, what you called uh, workspace if you go to the workspace and uh, inside the workspace there will be this is branch dev branch if you switch to main branch so in the main branch what i will do is i will create one more i will it is this is my dev branch in the dev branch in the project demo i will create one more folder to show it uh, again create create one file again create notebook anything you can just create here name it second second demo nb and okay and then i'll just keep some print hello that's all so if you go here just 
go to repo go to workspace in the workspace we are having in in the workspace we are repo in the this is my uh, username this is the connected repository in the repository dev we are having first and second so now if you see here this is a free set we'll go to dev branch in the dev branch you will just see only first demo okay you will not see the second demo nb so what you do is you have to come back to your workspace and then click here once you will click here you will you will see the changes so what are the changes i have added second demo nb so this one you have to push it so added added second notebook file added nb file and then commit and push so once you will push it then it will reflect here now if you refresh it you can see second demo okay but it will not be there in the main branch see this is not there in the main branch okay only first is there and obviously here also if you switch to the main branch switch to the main branch just click here and switch to main branch okay after switching to the main branch you will see only first demo you will not see second demo so what to do you have to create the pr you have to create the pr pull request and create new pull request we have to create from dev because dev we have added and from dev to main so it is saying that one file got changed the second and then create pull request and you can add write description like added added second file and then then create pull request after creating the pull request it will check checking for eligibility to merge and all things good then you can just click the confirm the merge request so this merge request is done now if you come back to the main you can see it is available now see what whether it is available on the main branch here as well or not refresh it it is not available okay so what to do is you have to come here okay and pull it have to pull here so successfully pull changes you have to keep pulling the change in order to avoid the con the conflict so now if you go to your main branch you will see the second demo so hope you have understand how you can work with the workspace repo here so how it is working how it happened real time real life is you will be connected to your repo here okay this is your repo and developer will not have access to do anything with with this repo with workspace repo okay and inside the workspace repo there will be notebook all the notebook will be run using your workflow okay so developer will open the notebook from their vs code in the vs code they will con he will configure uh, this git github and he will keep create the new branch in the new branch they will they will keep pushing their code and once everything is done once it is working fine in dev branch it will merge merge into the main branch and and then actual file will be coming here once the file will come here so it will run uh, so your file will be run using workflow and that will run in productions so i will definitely show how how the ci cd workflow is working here but for now you you understand like how you can work with the workspace repo how to integrate the work with the workspace repo with the git thank you very much thank you for watching